Hey everybody, this is Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving. Today I want to talk about burning an image uh, like a ring um, around a particular object that's circular in nature with your, with your rotary tool. A lot of folks struggle with making the item match all the way around and come back and, and match up. It's really not hard to do. There is some science behind that, but it's relatively simple. Uh, you have to know a few things. Uh, the first thing you need to know is you need to know what you're working with as far as the diameter of the object. In this particular case, the diameter I've got is going to be 22.3. I'm just going to measure that. And it is 22.3. So I know my diameter is going to be 22.3. So I'm going to bring up my calculator really quick. And I know I've got 22.3. I'm going to multiply that by my favorite food, pi. Now we don't need to know how, we don't need to, to go and take pi all the way out to the, to the nth digit until it starts repeating. But I, den, I do tend to go all the way out to 3.14159. So 22.3 diameter times 3.14159. One five nine equals seventy point oh five seven, and we know we round up because of that, so it's going to be seventy point oh six. So the diameter I have is seventy point oh six millimeters, seventy point zero six all the way around twenty two point three across seventy point oh six. Make sense? Now that I know that, then I'm right where I need to be. The first thing I do is I typically draw a rectangle that is the same diameter dimensions that I want, 70.06. In this particular case, I'm assuming the ring width is 4.27 millimeters. I mean, that's not very big, but I mean, you could technically, you could make that as wide as you want it, you know, I suppose, but I'm just going 4.27 millimeters over for demonstration purposes. Here's where it's important. If you, in order to be an engraver or a marker, you know, using your your laser to mark, you really need to be good with graphics and you need to understand that concept pretty well. So I have both Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop installed. I could go into Adobe Photoshop and I could create an image that is exactly 70.06 millimeters and then it has a perfect bleed end to end, but I didn't do that. In this particular case, I just chose to take the Windings font and I chose the letter Z and I stuck it in here and made it fit by just stretching it out. Here's the key. When you're working with wrapping an image or all the way around, you want this gap, see the gap between each one of these symbols? You want to split that in half and put half of that on each end, right? So the, this gap plus this gap on this left end should equal the gap in between my characters to make it look perfect. For the purposes of this demonstration, it's not going to be right on perfect, but it's going to be pretty respectable considering what we're marking. Now, if you were doing a ring, I would highly recommend Photoshop, getting your image precisely down, and then you import, you, you vector that and then import it uh, as a vector image, then hatch it out and you go for it. But if, you, if you're using your laser, you're beyond all of that. You just need to know how to make this thing go all the way around and how you're working with your rotary tool. And that's what we're talking about here. What do we do inside EasyCAD? Well, shy of making sure that your image is fitting within properly within your, your, your area, I'm going to go ahead and hide the rectangle because I don't want to mark that on my, on my rotary. And I want to select, mark select just the image that I want. And I'm going to leave it at like power 80, 30, 1500. I don't care. I'm not into this to show you a perfect burn on copper. Uh, so that's not the purpose, but I go to laser and I pick rotary mark. Now, why are we doing rotary mark versus uh, split mark, project mark, uh, ring text? Because it's easy, all right? Click on rotary mark. Make sure that your split size is the same as your hatch size. My hatch is 0.02. My split size is 0.02. Don't ask me why. I don't know why that is. It's just the science of the program. I never really dug into why, but I found that if my hatch size matches my split size, I have better results. All right. 
Now, if you notice, if you notice my object selected here is what's going to mark. If I hit my light button, it should go back and rotate the, this all the way around to the half mark and start identifying right here where I'm going to start burning. This is in focus and I have it aligned where I need it on, on the, the ring, if you will, right? So now it's actually ready to burn. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and execute and let you watch how this actually works. This is just from a test burn that I had done earlier. Disregard that. But you can see we're starting to come in on our object right here. That's where it started. Done. So now, I don't know if it's kind of hard to see, but I'll try my best to bring this in. But you can see my image burned all the way around perfectly. And you can't really tell where one ends and one begins. It's perfect. And that's how you do it, folks. There's not any more complicated than that. You just have to know your circumference and your diameter. Once you know those things and you set your, your image up inside EasyCAD, your battle is won. Thank you for watching. If you like it, share, subscribe, throw your comments out there, ask for something next, and we'll get her out there if we can do it. This has been Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving. As always, have a great day.